We took a two week cruise to Antarctica, going deep south. This region of the world is always frozen. It is only in the third and fourth week of March that the ice becomes soft enough for the ships to come here. So it is only two weeks in the year that one can visit the region where we are. We are the first and the only ship to visit this region in this year. No other ship has come here before in 2024 and no other ship will come after us. So we are not only the first but we are also the last ship to come into this region in this year. Please enjoy our videos. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your family and friends. It is a great free way to help us. Thank you. Today is 22nd of March, Friday. We are at sea towards Marguerite Bay. Wake up call at 7.45, 8 o'clock breakfast and we will continue to sail north but we have very heavy swell and wind from the front about 50 knots of wind in, uh, which is uh, whipping up a three meter of uh, swell so the uh, upper decks are closed for movement and we are advised to stay inside the ship we will have lecture programs at 9 30 on george huber wilkins at 11 o'clock on humpback whales 12 30 lunch 1500 We'll talk about some ice core drilling and 16.30 will be about diving in high latitudes. 6.15 recap, 7 o'clock dinner. One week of having good luck with flat calm seas and wind, no wind. Today we are heading into 50 knots of wind which is whipping up a 3 meter swell. The ship is rolling and pitching like crazy. Saturday 23 March 2024 we are in the northern Marguerite Bay 7.45 is the wake up call 8 o'clock breakfast and in the morning we hope to offer a zodiac cruise of one grain point located on Porque Pass Island the island was discovered by the French Arctic expedition under Charcot in 1908 1910. It was later chartered more accurately by British Graham Land Expedition under John Ramill 1934-37 who named the island after Charcot's expedition ship the Porcoy Pass meaning why not in English. Uh, we are just about arriving there and we have been told that 9.30 will be the first uh, orange group boarding and 9.45 will be our blue group. We are not in kayaking, 12.30 lunch and in the evening uh, we hope to land at Horseshoe Island which is a small island measuring just 12 kilometers and is named for the peaks that give the island its shape. It was discovered and named by Graham Land Expedition crew that led by Australian navigator John Raymill chartered Horseshoe Island and the other areas in 1936-37. So 1500 we hope to land on Horseshoe Island and then followed by a cruise. 1845 recap, 1930 dinner. 
In the morning, receiving forecast of an approaching storm, the plans for a cruise at Bondrain Pass were abandoned and we head straight for the Horseshoe Island. Arriving there in the early afternoon with amazing views of the mountains and the glaciers. So we are approaching Horseshoe Island where we hope to make a landing and a Zodiac cruise in the ice. Probably push the boat more than the iceberg, but <laughs> worth a try. These beautiful channels on the icebergs are created when this part of the iceberg is under the water and the air escapes from the ice cutting these channels and shaping the iceberg into these characteristic and very beautiful shapes. It also results in ice being compacted and that is what gives it the blue color.
Es lo mismo pie que torció. Ajá. These green lines in the rocks are the lichens which grow inside the rocks all over Antarctica. Lichens are a symbiotic relation between algae, fungi and even including bacteria. If you change any one of the species, 
the color and the form changes and sometimes they die all together. So that is a frozen lick and the color comes from the algae that is growing in this. The crisps feed on this algae and rest of the animals and birds here feed on the krill. So everything here either feeds on krill or on something that feeds on krill. But the bottom of the food chain is this green colored algae that is growing on the ice. <laughs> Admiring how beautiful they are. <clears throat> that one is balancing. Because the ice there is probably very thin. Hanging out.
for me as an ex mariner the highlight of the day was the ship's passage through a very narrow 600 meters wide channel called the gullet littered with icebergs and packed with sea ice this was a very tricky passage to make and i was really amazed at the level of professionalism with which the ship staff managed to navigate through this very narrow channel